Good afternoon. My name is Joe Cannon, Zaid Omicron 44 from the University of North Texas. I was former division commander of the South Central Division, Sigma Nu. All of us in Sigma Nu achieved to be knights. In so doing, we have to live by the creed of Sigma Nu. To believe in the life of love, to walk in the way of honor, and to serve in the light of truth. This is the life, the way, and the light of our fraternity. It is a creed of Sigma Nu. To believe in the life of love, to win in the fresh morning of our youth the loyal love of faithful friends who will go with us unmoved into the darkening shadows of life's closing day. And so to seek, and so to find, to have and to hold those friendships that will abide. To think of God as the common father of all men, and all men as a common brotherhood. Thus recognizing the continuity of the divine and the solidarity of human life. To build somewhere in this wide world the sheltering walls of a home, however humble and obscure, where love shall glorify the wife, duty enshrine the mother, and affection ennoble the child. To keep green the memories of our loved and our lost, their faults forgotten but their virtues enshrined in our hearts forever. To try bravely to do unto our fellow man what we would they should do unto us, reckoning not their lineage nor their wealth, but esteeming their manhood above their badge of rank. To let our lives be led by the spirits of gentleness and of mercy, And so to be true to the knighthood of love, of love. To walk in the way of honor, to exalt the fundamental virtues of the race, and prizing every noble impulse to realize so deeply the baseness of deceit that no obligation shall be more binding than our plighted word. To be steadfast in the performance of every trust and spurning the gaudy gifts of greed and of power. To be content to live by our nightly vow that our honor is dearer to us than our lives. And so to esteem a man by his character first, his culture second, and his pedigree not at all, unless he be worthy of. And emulating the chivalrous deeds of courtesy and sealing not our hearts against the touch of tenderness to win the love and the care of some incorruptible woman. And so to be loyal to the knighthood of honor, of honor, to serve in the light of truth, to open wide life's windows to the revelations of heaven and earth. Avoiding the Phariseeism that belittles the soul and scorning the bigotry that blots the mind. To reverence every altar of faith built in God's name by every sincere worshiper. To whom, if we cannot give our sympathy, we shall not deny the kindness of our manly silence. And whatever our creed, to reverence the Christ as a divine compassion for a struggling humanity, a compassion that preaching its gospel of human service saves men to the end that they may serve their fellow man. To seek in nature the meaning of the infinite truth, to understand that the laws of growth are the laws of God. 
and, and to believe that the melody of birds, the laughter of children, the unmeasured sacrifice of motherhood, and the ceaseless yearning of all men for a broader outlook and nobler existence are all prophetic of the perfect joy and peace of another world yet to come. And so believing to find rest, as if in the shadow of a great rock, safe against all the storms that might beset us. Catching from the, the silence of the starlit nights, the peace of the autumn days, and the solemnity of the boundless seas, that spirit of faith and hope, which soothes the hurt of grief, heals the wounds of wrong, and calms the fever of doubt. To welcome with open arms the achievements of arts and sciences, religion and learning, labor and law, under whose radiant banners battle the host of progress. To recognize every consecrated student as a benefactor to his race, and every universitor as a bulwark of this republic. And so to be loyal to the American university as the home of American liberty democracy, religion, and culture. To guard with jealous care not only the ancient rights of human freedom, in whose name we shall destroy all wrong and oppression, but also the newer rights of social service, the ultimate purpose of whose ministration shall be to give to each life an opportunity to enjoy the earth in the fullness of its beauty and grace, its comfort and good cheer. And holding fast to the convictions that whatever sweetens our nature, uplifts our ideals, strengthens our characters and disenthralls our spirits, will bring us in the end to the full stature of a noble manhood. And so believing, to cling to the visions of our youth, and despite the sordid struggles of a selfish world, to practice every day as lads in college and as men in the world, the faith of our fraternity. Thinking of it not only as an inspiring ideal for a middle brotherhood, but also as a creative force for the spiritual development of men whose lives it shall dedicate to love, glorify with honor, and conquer for truth. And so to be faithful to the knighthood of truth. Of truth. To believe in the life of love. To walk in the way of honor and to serve in the light of truth. This is the life, the way, and the light of Sigma Nu. It is the creed of our fraternity. Together, we must give and give and give of ourselves to our chapter, our campus, and our community so that we shall live a life which reflects that we are among the finest of the knights and one of the most elite of the brotherhoods. Sigma Nu.